Hello there, parents. My name is Brian House, and I am one of two theater teachers at Brookwood High School. Miss Laura Lindahl is my co-teacher, um, but I am the teacher of the Theater Fundamentals course, which your student is in. Um, just wanted to talk to you very briefly, as brief as I can, five minutes is the video, about what we're going to cover this year, briefly what we're going to cover this year, and a little bit about the courses that your student could take after this year. Um, so if your student is a ninth grader, what could happen potentially in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade? Um, so let me start with a description of the, the class and um, what we're going to cover. Um, for sure, we're going to, because it's an intro class, we're going to cover what you would expect the basics of uh, stage terminology, um, learning about where we are in the theater. Um, uh, we will cover for sure um, the basics of acting um, and directing and design. Now going further into those areas, for example, acting, we would want to look at um, the steps to make a character, character analysis. Um, and while we're doing this, we're going to work on memorization, some monologues, which is a performance by one actor, uh, duos, which is a two-person scene, and then scenes, which is, again, multiple characters um, in the scene. So uh, while we're looking at acting, we will also definitely um, sort of zoom in on um, voice and terms related to voice and um, a little bit maybe dialects uh, as well. Um, so under uh, directing, we're already starting in that. We've got a bunch of terminology we've already um, worked on. I don't know if you've heard any stories yet, but we've been working on stage pictures for the last couple of weeks. So we're already working on this director's voice um, part of theater. Um, we will get into playwriting a little bit and sketching out the idea of sketching a monologue up or uh, scene work, etc. Um, under design, um, think about the categories here. We would have scenic design, lighting design, sound design, makeup design, costume design. Uh, we, we will briefly touch on these areas uh, with a project most likely um, involved there. Um, we've got um, steps of the production process which we can cover. Um, the steps to get a show up. Uh, we produce uh, six stage plays at Brookwood and, um, and our one act, so technically seven. Um, and so the kids kind of get to see what we're doing, but we'll go over that in class as well. Uh, we'll also look at jobs in the theater, what jobs uh, students could get once they've graduated with a college degree. Um, we've got parts of the theater. A big topic would be theater history. Um, this one, honestly, it could be a whole semester course or year-long course, which it is at advanced levels, um, but we'll touch on that one. Um, obviously, we'll hit beginnings in Shakespeare, etc. Um, and then we are doing some uh, play reading. I don't know if your students have told you about this, but play reading is happening on Mondays, and we're doing some improv and some writing on Fridays during the year as well. So now let me touch on briefly uh, what could happen after the intro year. So come middle year, during January uh, into February, we're signing up for classes for next year. We will have an audition process in which your student could audition into either of the performing classes at Brookwood, which are the musical class and what we call straight play. They put on the plays, non-musical productions. So the audition could get you into either fourth or sixth period next year. Those are the classes that produce shows. Those are the kids you see on stage at Brookwood. We also have a stagecraft class in which there is a process, not an audition, 
but an application and an interview in which we choose students to work on the technical, design, construction, painting aspect of putting our shows together, and that is our third period. So those are all of our students who get to that production level. And yes, sophomores can get there, but it's not necessarily the automatic transition. The automatic transition is one in which in sophomore year, you would be in acting one, which Miss Lindahl has two of those classes. That is the next natural step after intro. And so this year is our intro year, and then sophomore year most likely would be acting one, and then the audition and or application into stagecraft could happen at that point in time as well. We like to suggest to any of our freshmen that are very interested in being a part of the department to audition this year so that you understand the audition process and have gotten it out of the way. Even if you don't get the nod into the performance classes this first year and go into acting one, again, reminder that is the natural step, um, it is good to have the experience. Um, obviously, parents, if you have any questions about anything theater related, uh, my class, the fundamentals class, or um, the steps beyond uh, theater fundamentals, please don't hesitate to either email myself and or Laura Lindahl. I hope this has been informational and it has been such a pleasure uh, having your students in drama class this year.